Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this, today's video is pretty much going to be an updated Q&A where I answer all your questions. Um, I put a question thing up on my Instagram and have asked you to ask me some juicy questions, some different questions, all the things that you want to know about me that you probably haven't heard before or I haven't said anywhere on my social media. And before I actually get into it, I just wanted to put a little part in here. Um, as I'm from Australia and I don't know if any of you guys know if you might be overseas, we're currently going through a bit of a rough time in Australia. Um, the droughts have been super bad, obviously with the climate change. We've been averaging like 40 plus degrees per day and obviously our country has been completely ravaged with fires and wild bushfires. It's so sad to see. I saw an update this morning on an article that we have lost close to a billion animals in these bushfires. Um, it's something over like 2 million hectares um, of land that has been destroyed by the fires. If you haven't seen anything about it, I'm going to put a link down below where you can see more about it, read more about it. And also down below, I'm going to put a few links where you can donate um, to different charities, foundations, basically to all the firefighters, all the people affected, uh, to wildlife rescue places. So please, if you can, please donate to the links below. And obviously, we really appreciate any donation. Um, this is literally like the craziest thing we've ever gone through over here and it's so warm and so nice to see everyone coming together raising money and obviously i want to just do my part to try and spread the awareness about this and try and raise some money for those people that have been affected all the animals and everything so yeah i just wanted to add this little part in before i get into the rest of it but yeah pretty much it's all going to be in my description below if you want to take a look at it um and again thank you so much in advance but let's go into the rest of it now so yeah as i said earlier i pretty much have put an Instagram thing up and ask everyone to ask me some questions. I asked a few of my friends for some random questions that I feel like that everyone would love to hear and all that kind of thing as well. So let's get straight into it. So the first question is, did I always want to do what I'm doing now? And that's a bit of a hard question because I guess like growing up, I never had, I was around when there was no social media. Uh, even when I was like, like super young, like even just coming into teenage years, my parents well, I didn't think my parents even had mobiles. Like, mobiles haven't been around for that long. And obviously now I'm 27. Um, yeah, they didn't have that kind of stuff. So I didn't always want to be like this. Um, I guess going to high school and stuff, there still wasn't anything like this. I guess we all kind of looked up to the big celebrities, actors, and then sports stars. So um, I guess there wasn't anyone like what we do in social media, I guess, doing what I'm doing now back when I was younger to look up to. So I never planned this. I never thought I'd come into this. This is a completely random thing for me. Um, I always wanted to own my own business and work for myself. That was one of the big things that I always wanted to do. So I guess that side of it, yes, it's something I always wanted to do. And I'm so glad and I'm so appreciative. And it's really motivating to work for yourself and, and do that kind of thing. So yes, that part I am super appreciative. Next one is, are you and Maddie moving in together when her lease is up? And what is Caitlin, her housemate, going to do? Well, we haven't really spoken about that. Maddie's lease, I think right now actually, is probably due. But um, I'm pretty sure she's going to renew it for maybe like another 6, 12 months. Not too sure. That's completely up to her. But we're in no hurry right now. Like obviously we spend a lot of time together. I feel we'll definitely live together uh, later on. But we're not rushing things. Like we spend nearly every day together. We work together and all that kind of stuff. And while we're young, I feel like it's just really good. Like she has the perfect housemate, her best friend, who I love as well. She's the best. And um, I guess while you're young, you just want to experience it and live with your friends. So it's good. It's a good way for us to have our own spare time with our friends uh, and just experience like being young still. So we definitely will move in together. But at the moment, we haven't planned anything. Oh, this one's a good one. What have you changed from your past relationships to making this one healthier? than others. Uh, I'm not too sure. I feel like it's more towards being suited to a certain person um, than really changing anything to going into like a new relationship. Obviously, when you're super happy and you're happy with how your life is, you're happy with how the per person is, and obviously, when you're, what's the word in, more compatible to a certain person, I think it just works better. And that's obviously the case with Maddie and I. Um, obviously there's no problems or anything in my last relationship that um, I don't have any bad blood or anything like that. It's just with different people and yeah, pretty much it's just someone more compatible and that's 
and we worked that out um, and that's why obviously everything was so civil when we split all that kind of stuff so there's nothing really I guess that has changed like all, obviously uh, I always try and make myself a better person no matter when it is uh, so obviously going into a new relationship and stuff like that I always want to continue to make myself a better person and when you meet someone that you're so compatible with you always want to be a better person for them as well so I guess they're the things that I guess you could be saying you do change a little bit we're just so compatible and kind of like best friends it just makes it so good also I just wanted to flag not sure if you can hear in the background but Pava is snoring his brains out He's kind of just sitting here next to me, but he's the cutest thing. He's literally just like dangling his head over his bed, and it's so funny. Hey, wake up, brother. Try to film a video. Okay, so this is a good one. So it says, what age would you like to be engaged and have kids? So this is a little one, another one that I guess a lot of people always ask. And I'm not too sure. I've never really put like an age bracket on it. When I was young, I always thought I would love to be like a young dad. Um, because like I saw my parents growing up and all that kind of stuff and it just I loved it and obviously like they've been together I think it's just gone over 33 years now um, and just seeing that is so inspirational as well but uh, I feel like I'm always going to be like a young person um, like young person when I say that I mean like healthy I love to get out and be active and stuff like that so I've always just wanted to be one of those people that's a really active dad, a really active parent, take my kids out and be able to like play sport all the time and just be out there and be a kid with them again, I guess. Like have fun with them. So as long as I can still do that, that's so fun. Ah, he's so loud. But um, I guess now like looking into it, like, I don't know, like 30 would probably be a good, good age. Obviously for a guy, it's a bit easier. But yeah, pretty much just want to be able to be in a, like completely stable and being able to bring someone into the world with a like a stable like healthy relationship and that kind of thing I feel like that's the most important thing to me oh someone said do you like dumb and dumber I guess they're trying to take out my new haircut my new hairstyle but you know what I don't even care what you think have you had any cosmetic injections so um, yes I have I get my jaw um, I think it's called your masseters so this is a problem that I have with my dentist my dentist does this so he puts Botox in my jaw muscles here basically because because I clench when I sleep so basically what happens is if you get the masseters done which is the Botox injected in here it basically relieves these muscles here I guess it does kind of slim your face I haven't done it for that reason though uh, mine is because when I clench my teeth at night time uh, I wake up the next day feeling like I've been punched in the face and obviously when you're clenching your teeth so much It's not very healthy for your back teeth also from that though. Um, I have had um, An injection like the injections into my forehead basically to prevent me getting wrinkles This was I think the last I think I got it like a year and a half ago and Basically because my metabolism is so fast it lasted about three three to four weeks. So you know, I was getting facials and stuff like that to look after my skin. She said that as basically like a pre preventative so when I'm older I don't get huge wrinkles and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, each to their own. I don't care. I'm happy to share whatever I've had done. Um, and, and yeah, I don't mind if people are allowed to do whatever they want to their bodies. And it's never going to affect me because I'm not going to sit there and control someone. If they want to do it, if that, someone has any kind of insecurities, go ahead. Go do anything you want. If you literally, it'll make your life so much better um, living without those insecurities and being more comfortable, I guess, in your own skin. So, I never ever comment about if anyone gets it done. Like it's literally their choice. Another one. I know, like I always stay away from these questions, but I'm gonna answer it. Uh, is it awkward if myself and Maddie are at an event with our ex partners? And no, not at all. Like. Going to events, like you stick to, like a lot of the time you go and say hello to people, you see people that you haven't seen for a long time, but you know, we're adults and we're mature. Um, it's, I find it so fine, Maddie's found it so fine. So uh, we don't find it weird at all. Someone's asked how many piercings I've ever had. So pff, this is actually a good question because currently I have two in each of you here. Um, if you look back probably a few months ago now, uh, I got my, what is this called, a helix pierced, I think it was the day before Splendor last year, and then I had it in for a few months and I just took it out. But pretty much I've had 
two in each year. I've had my helix done. And then back, I think when I was like 19, I had my, I think it's called Eutragus, this part in here done as well. But now um, they've all healed over. So pretty much I've only got the four done here. What's the weirdest thing a fan has tried to do? Um, I guess like literally sometimes you do get like the really super strange um, requests. Like you do kind of get like stalkers that just send I guess messages literally every single week, sorry not every single week, every single day and they'll send like a few of them that reply to every single story and every single message is super creepy. Um, a lot of the time like especially now with Maddie and I together you'll get creepy people that are just being like can we just pay for your, um, did you say that fly? Uh, that would be a lot of the time you'll say can we pay for your lunch, go take her out for breakfast or dinner and can I please pay for it and you just send me photos. And you get re really weird requests like that that just make you feel like gross. Where do I see myself in five years? I guess, oh, this is a really good one as well, but it's super hard to know. Um, I have so many things that I would love to do, like I've always wanted to do, uh, like things like live overseas for a bit, or again, like I'd love to live in Melbourne. Obviously now I've moved down to Sydney and that was one of the things I always wanted to do as well. It's been the most amazing thing that I've done, um, especially work-wise and things like that just networking and just branching out and I love doing new things, putting yourself out in new experiences, um, putting yourself out of like your comfort zone and stuff like that. That's something that I like love to do. So living overseas for a bit would be something I'd absolutely love to experience. But I think in five years, I would love to have my own company again. Uh, I think like I love my fashion and stuff like that. It's definitely something that I really want to get into more. Um, so five years, I'd hope I'd be owning my own company and something to do with fashion. I guess something to do with social media. There's also a lot of like new opportunities that I want to start getting into. Uh, this year, 2020 is where I want to really branch out as much as I possibly can into all different kind of things. Uh, five years, I think probably own a house. Um, also like I would love to go back and live somewhere like super beachy and that kind of thing too. So you never know, I could be still in Sydney, um, I could be back in Brisbane closer to family, five years, you never know, I could have a kid. That's scary. But you never know, it could happen. Five years is a long time these days. And then I think just more settled, more set up in life, still having fun, still traveling, all that kind of thing. Oh, another one having a dig. What's with the bowl cut? Guess what, I like it. A lot of people are asking a lot of questions to do with Maddie and I, and <laughs> there's a lot of funny ones. A lot of really interesting ones. How often did Maddie and I have sex? Well, you know what? I'm gonna keep that private because that's Maddie and I, but just, yeah, we definitely do enough. So I'll leave it at that. Oh, I guess obviously going into the other question before about the cosmetic injections, um, anything cosmetically done. Another thing that I think a lot of you have probably seen, if you haven't seen the video previously, I have also had my teeth done, so I do have porcelain veneers, and that was literally probably the best thing I've ever done in my life. Um, that just changed so much more um, with my self-conscious um, and being comfortable with my smile and just being so happy. Like, literally, people comment on my Instagram now and be like, you don't have to smile at every photo. It's like, literally, that's just me. Like, I, I love my teeth. I want to show them off as much as possible. And, yeah, I could not thank my dentist anywhere near enough. It was... I just, the best thing I could ever recommend doing or anything like that, it was just the best experience, the best thing I've ever done in my life. So complete smiles down in Sydney. If you ever need anything done, um, if you like the look of these, if you want to just chat, go and send a message. They're in my description box in every video. Um, the guys are like the nicest people ever and yes, could not recommend it any more highly but that's the only other thing I've had done. This is kind of, this is a good one. This is a bit of a change of mood, but still. Um, like, how do you get out of a dark hole? And um, have I ever been through, like, hard experiences? Obviously, I've never really spoken about it. And I never really, I kind of always kept to myself. But, like, there is hard days. Everyone has hard days. I admit it. I'm not going to try and hide things like that. I've been through some pretty rough and shitty times. Um, that have been on social media, that have been off social media, that people have known, that people haven't known and stuff. You know, I've had times where it's been a really hard month or I've had days where I didn't want to get out of bed or just things like that. So I'm not going to say like I have been diagnosed with it because obviously I haven't, I've never spoken to someone about it, any of that kind of stuff. 
these are just my little tips for what, what I've gone through and um, just my experiences because obviously people have asked about it. But really, it's just I just really wanted to determine the things that like made me go and not want to get out of bed, um, that really triggered the harder times. Uh, people, it could be people, it could be events, it could be um, drinking, it could be like anything, the next day after drinking, partying, all that kind of stuff. And really just try and limit that. Also on top of that, then you also need to try to find the things that help you not be that, make you feel more healthy and um, motivated and, and just in a happier place and stuff like that. Once you do find those things, for me it was gym. Um, gym was a massive thing. You know, going and sitting on the beach, waking up, having the right attitude as soon as you wake up instead of getting straight onto your phone. You know, have a think um, and just kind of have a minute to yourself and just think about things and think what you're happy for and think about the good things. Say you're going to have a good day because literally once you say that, you literally do. And then if things aren't going that bad, like go to your happy place, go to your gym, go for a run, go to the beach. Um, whatever your happy place is, just take some time. It may take five minutes, ten minutes, the tiniest little time. And then just reset yourself. And when you do that, you'll feel better. Take your time to yourself. Like, no one's ever going to complain if you do that. So that's one of the big things. And once you do those two things, I feel like it really will change it. Change, change things in your life, you know. Try something. Work out. Uh, try running. Try going to the gym. That was massive for me. When I go to the gym, I feel so much better. I feel my brain. I feel motivated. I feel motivated. For not just... Um, in training and stuff like that, but my brain, like, I want to go out and I do do so much more work. My mind is just constantly, constantly bump, bumping off, thinking of new things, thinks of things I want to do. It literally drives me insane sometimes, but it's great. I love it. So doing things like that, you know, finding the hobbies, um, going out and do things fun with your like with your friends. If you have had a bad week, plan something with your friends. Just think of something completely random. Go hiking. Um, go go karting. Like anything completely random that you don't usually do and just go and do it try it try new things and you'll find that literally that it'll change your mood and it's just like it'll put you in a happy place for the time and yeah and, and they're the things that you can start and obviously the massive one is just talk to people you know um some people might have experienced the same kind of thing just be open it's literally like i no one's ever going to think badly if you like just open up and just speak to someone about a problem that you're having. They're always going to try and give you advice and help with you and just get it off your chest. But yeah, those three things are, I guess from my experience, have been the biggest things and have helped the most. So hopefully that can help a bit more. Obviously, I've never been trained in that kind of stuff and um, haven't been diagnosed with anything. But that's just my experience from my bad days I've had before, bad weeks bad months, that kind of thing. So I hope that helps. Another one of these, as I was saying earlier, like the weird comments you get, I have two questions in a row. Like one is how many followers compliment you on your feet? Like literally, they're the ones that just make you real. Oh. Like you put things out on social media and like you don't think of those little things and then all of a sudden someone's like sending those creepy messages and you're like, oh. And this makes you want to be like, every time you take a photo, you like, make sure there's no feet in there. Another one that's really like personal, but okay, I'll share it. Um, how old was I when I lost my virginity? So I'm pretty sure I was like, I was 16 actually. So I just turned 16 and it was with my girlfriend at the time. So yeah, I never really drank um, until I was like 19, 20, I think it was, something like that. Maybe actually just before I was 19, maybe. But basically, me growing up, I played so much sport. I played soccer all the time, soccer, football, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I kind of missed those years of going from school. I never partied in school. Uh, I never did any of that kind of stuff because I was always traveling for sport. So I was kind of so different to all my friends. What are your biggest turnoffs in people? That's another good one. Um, I feel like, oh, well, one thing that comes to my mind, like straight away, I don't know why, but this is weird. But when you're out and you're having dinner, lunch, breakfast, anything, anywhere, and someone is helping you, um, it could be a waiter, actually it could be anyone, just in any kind of store or shop, just in public, anywhere at all. And, but mainly waiters, this is the way you always speak about this kind of thing. And if someone can be rude to a waiter, 
and you know, and especially if the waiter's not being rude back to them or they didn't do anything to, I guess, provoke that, straight away, that's like alarm bells and I'd be like, whoa, what is happening? Like, why do you have to be like this? I feel like, you know, that's like the hardest thing, or just anywhere. I feel when, I remember I used to work at McDonald's when I was 14, 15, I think it was, and I just remember when customers used to come in and there'd be young girls out the front working on the checkouts and they'd come back and be so aggressive and insult the person and say how bad they are at working, any of that kind of stuff. I would always, even though I'd be at the back and be like this little tiny guy, I would always be like super defensive and just always like fling to someone's defense with that kind of stuff. That's one big way, like just, you can be nice to absolutely anyone and there's no need, you can be have a bad day, but it still doesn't mean it's okay to be, oh, he's snoring again. It still doesn't make it okay to be nasty to someone. Just be nice, just spread happiness. Tell someone to have a good day. Those little things could, if someone's having a bad day, they're the things that could change it and put it into motion into having a better day. So spread more positivity. Oh, another good one, another personal one. Have I ever sent a nude or a picture of myself like nude? That's no. I can happily say that I never have done that. Um, it was just one of those things. Like I, my mum always drilled like just common sense and stuff into our heads, and all that kind of stuff. So that's definitely something that I have never done. I never would do. Um, I don't know. I just feel like the internet. The internet just always holds things. Like it holds everything. So you never know when it could resurface and. I definitely don't want that to be happening, so I can happily say that I never have. Alright guys, I think that's enough questions. Hopefully you enjoyed the questions that I answered. Um, I might do one of these again soon, I might even bring Maddie into it, and we can ask each other questions, and maybe do a mukbang or mukbang, however you want to say it. Um, but that's it for today's video. Um, please remember the donation below, the, the links below, please take a look. Um, and we do appreciate all your help with any of that kind of stuff, any donations, even the smallest donations, if it all counts, you know, if a hundred thousand people donate a dollar each, that's a hundred thousand dollars, so please no donation is too small. Um, but yeah, if you have any other requests, ideas or anything like that, please put them in the comments below, um, and I'll always try and get back to them, I try and reply to all of my comments, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video guys, thanks for tuning in.